I'm sure in some place in time you had to write an essay, a report, or maybe a thesis. If you haven't got training in the Microsoft Word software, then you probably did everything manually. From the table of contents, to images and figures, titles, and the numbering. Oh, the numbering. Anything you had to change must be rechecked, and if the document is big, mistakes bundle up. Well, if you keep watching, we will see how we can automate the whole process. Yeah. Microsoft Word understands styles. Different formatting that if you apply to text, the software can refer to it. In the Home tab come some pre-made styles for headings, titles, captions and more. If we select in our pre-made text chapter 1 and apply heading 1 style, we can see that the preferred by Microsoft style is blue. I don't like it. So, I'm gonna apply Times New Roman font. Make it black. Change the spacing to 6 points. and insert bottom border to highlight it. To have the same style in all of my chapters, I'm gonna right click at the heading 1 and left click update heading to match selection. Now I'll select the section 1 and apply the heading 2 style. Again, because I don't like it, I'm gonna change the font, the spacing, and update heading to match selection. Finally, I'll select the subsection and apply heading 3. Change the font to Times New Roman, color to black, and spacing to 6. Right click and update heading to match selection. Repeat the same procedure by just clicking heading 1, 2, 3 for each chapter, section and subsection respectively. Now that we applied the styles, we can easily number them. In the Home tab, click at the List Library and select this one. We see it numbered everything correctly with the sections having point 0.1, point 0.2 and the subsections Point 1.1 point one and point 1.2. Point I forgot to apply style to section 2. Alright! Now press at the preferences tab and at the table of contents icon. You can choose from pre made tables, but I'm gonna customize it by clicking at the custom table button. We can change the spacing from dots to dashes or continuous line. Choose different formats. But I'm gonna modify the form template format by clicking modify button. First, with the DOC1, click modify. I'll choose Time New Roman. 14 points. and bold. OK. TOC2 Times New Roman 12 points OK. TOC3 Times New Roman 12 points OK. 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 We have our table of contents. I'll separate it by inserting a page break. Right click on the table and update field. Update entire table. You can see the page numbers have been updated. Now replace chapter 1 with introduction. Section 1 with from the beginning. 
right click on the table and update field. So everything we change can be automatically changed on the table of contents. Now, if you want to insert a picture and be able to add description under it, we go to insert tab, table, single cell, table. Again, insert tab, picture, and insert the picture we need. Select the table and remove the borders. Right click on the image and insert caption. Figure is already selected on it. It is below selected item. Let's click on numbering and keep it at 1 to 3. Tick include chapter number and select heading 1 to comply with the chapters. Hyphen separation. OK. OK. And we have figure 1, chapter 1. Reformat it however we like. and update caption style add the title of the image press enter add a description and format it however we like now let's enter another image at chapter 1 single cell table insert a picture Right click, insert a caption, click on numbering and chapter number is added. Add the title, add the description. Now let's add a C figure in the text. Click References tab, cross reference. We can see that the text can be referenced to many things. We will select figure and the figure we want to reference. And reference only label and number. Insert. And if we click on it, it is highlighted in gray. Now, if we copy a previous figure few lines before the referenced one, Right click on both figures and update field. Then right click on the reference and update field. We see that whatever changes we make can be easily corrected. That's it for this video folks. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, press thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Consider subscribing and sharing. Until the next time, see ya!